This is it. The 200th video. Hello YouTubers, and welcome to another Doctor Who action figure review. As you can see, today I shall be taking a look at the Ninth Doctor and Slitheen in 12 inch form. And these two figures act as walkie talkies. I'm doing this review because I'm celebrating 200 videos. First off, I just want to say again, thank you so much to everyone who's watched all of my videos. I have over 200 subscribers now and over 40,000 video views. It really does mean a lot to me. When I started this channel, back in early 2012, I didn't even think I would get that many views and that many subscribers to my channel. But here I am, over two years later, celebrating 200 videos with this video, and I feel it's a great achievement. So, once again, all of you out there who've watched all of my videos, I hope you've enjoyed all of them. Um, stay tuned for more. Um, and just thank you so much for everything. It really does mean a lot to me. I thought about doing a 200 Reasons Why I Love Doctor Who video, but seeing as I've done that twice with my 50th video and my 100th video, I thought I wouldn't do that because one, it's repetitive, and two, because it's 200 videos, 200 reasons, I feel it would just take ages to make, and I thought it would be better just doing a 12 inch action figure review like I did for the 150th video which was the 12 inch bronze Dalek which was remote controlled if you remember me doing that a few months back. So first of all let's now go on to the figures. So like I said they act as walkie talkies but unfortunately mine don't work anymore. I'm sorry about that, but I've had these since Christmas 2005. Same year I got the remote control Dalek, which thankfully is still working. But these two, unfortunately, do not work anymore as walkie-talkies. Um, so instead I'll just go into the detail and articulation. And I will also show you how the buttons will uh, be for those who want to know what it would be like if they were still active as walkie-talkies. First of all, let's take a look at the Ninth Doctor, as played wonderfully by Christopher Eccleston, one of my favourite Doctors. Now, i just got to say, the detail on this is absolutely brilliant obviously because it's 12 inch you can have more detail on the figure you've got the lines on his head and it just looks spot on just like Christopher Eccleston such a shame that he only did one series um, I would have liked him to do more but I've said that um, numerous times within the past 199 videos so Maybe he might return, maybe he might not one day. I have no idea, but I think the detail is just impeccable. It's just like him. I think it's absolutely brilliant. Along with the heads, he comes with the same body, which you would expect on 5-inch figures as well. He comes with the leather jacket and the black trousers and shoes. And got all the creases all over the leather jacket and you've got the buttons and all sorts of things and you've also got these little holes here which would have been the speakers for this figure and you also have the red shirt which is 
actually sculpted on than like the figure which is just painted over the body and at the back that's what he looks like you've got all sorts of holes at the back and as you can see on the actual leather jacket he has a glossy finish give it that sort of leathery feel and the holes at the back are like for the screwdrivers if you want to like replace the batteries I could have done that but um, there's just too much messing about and fiddling here you've got the for use in the UK and Ireland and he got a number I don't know where this came from by the way um, I got it for a Christmas present I asked my parents if they remember and they said they don't so uh, if you're wondering I have no idea where I got these from but I did get them for Christmas in 2005 nearly 10 years ago and here we have the on and off switch which of course is for the walkie talkies I've put it off because there's no point having it on if it doesn't work there is the button which you press down for the walkie talkie to work and the idea was you press this down and you could communicate with the other walkie talkie which is this guy a slithine of course these guys were very popular back in the day in 2005 um, fairly new fairly recent monster but of course they're not as popular nowadays as they've not really had their own story in Doctor Who since when Eccleston was the ninth Doctor which is unfortunate but again like the ninth Doctor the detail on the slithine is absolutely impeccable it's just brilliant you've got the arms and the claws and these little branches coming out of the arms you've also got these screws coming out um, there's, there's like screws here on the arms as well which um, are for the antenna of the walkie talkie you've got that on the neck which is what the slithine used and again you've got the speaker there on the chest and the detailing on the face is just brilliant looks absolutely disgusting and the belly's got all sorts of creases and is a bit fat and there are the legs again a branch coming out of the lower part of the ankle and there are the nails on the feet unfortunately mine can't really stand up properly so what I've had to do I've just had to like lean the slithine on the side of my bed but the arms are up so it's a bit more balanced if the arms were down um, they'd just fall over so that's all the detail on the front of the slithine we just have a quick look at the back if we can you can see like detail on the neck as well and it creases all the way down you've got the little tail here and there's just all sorts of holes on the back the screws in case you want to replace the batteries here's like the bit where you probably take it out and there's the on off switch I've got mine on I'll just turn it off because there's no point having it on and we have the actual button to press down here so you can just press it and the walkie talkie would be activated then you would communicate with this one which could be 20 meters away I'll just lean it against the bed again and I'll just put the camera down the figures also have articulation just like the five inch, more or less the same, um, but not entirely uh, bang on the same. For instance, in Eccleston, the head can move a bit, but not all the way, but the arms can articulate up and down, 
but the legs don't. And the same goes for the slitheen, except the head on the slitheen doesn't move, it's just the arms. Um, the hands on the Ninth Doctor can also move as well, but I think the arms on both of these figures are articulated because the antenna is located on what inside one of the arms. I take it it would be the left arm for each one. So that's all the detail on articulation. Overall, whenever I uh, get these out of the cupboard, I, it always reminds me back when I was a child, when uh, I started watching Doctor Who, um, because I started in 2005 and Eccleston was my first Doctor and it just brings back really good memories of Christmas 2005. So once again YouTubers, I just want to say a massive thank you to you all. You all know who you are. You've been all brilliant and I've got plans for the future of my channel. Um, I just hope to keep entertaining you all um, with more projects and more videos which will be made starting soon, um, especially this summer as I'm soon to be finishing my first year at university which has been really successful, really enjoying it at university and yeah I just hope you've enjoyed all of my videos, thank you so much to everyone who's contributed to my channel, given me feedback on all my videos and I just, I'm just mind blown really that I've made it this far. I never even dreamed of making it to 200 videos, but here I am over 200 years, um, two years later and yeah, the only way is up. So thank you very much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this 200th video by me, the Obsessed Uvian 95.